Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Friday night, about 10.55 p.m. here, California time. Friday, October 11th, 2024 is the date here. Latest activity here on the globe shows a 1.5 earthquake there into uh, Southern California. A little bit of activity ramping up here in the last 24 hours. Nothing of major concern here. In fact, if we look at the last uh, largest magnitude uh, today, 5.4 looks like down across the Kermadec Islands area. Aside from that, a uh, handful of deeper quakes up here across the Tonga Trench today. But uh, overall, looks like uh, just a general day out here running uh, around the plates here. Let's go ahead and check out uh, off the coast of Oregon, a handful of smaller quakes out in the Blanco Fracture Zone, 3.1, and a more recent 3.4 out here. Uh, watch for some further elevated activity across the Cascadia. Normally, when things ramp up out here in the fracture zones, we'll watch elevated activity and tremor kick up. So let me see what we got for tremor here tonight, which consists of, uh, well, that would explain here a little bit of tremor activity at the southern end. Uh, basically, here's a Blanco fracture zone. And when we get uh, earthquakes out there on that fracture zone, it tends to add strain out here on the southern end of the Juan de Fuca plate that subducts underneath this area. And so the trimmer is increasing here across the southern end, adding strain up the locked area, it looks like. Uh, so we'll watch that. Uh, got about 176 epicenters of trimmer down here across the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Even a little earthquake there from last night. Well, that's a 1.7 from last night. But uh, we'll keep an eye on this area. Things could start to ramp up here following the events today. Some movement around Mount St. Helens as well. Mostly uh, looks like a couple microquakes there and a, an explosion. That's going to be well south here around the battleground area. But uh, there's a handful of earthquakes up there across the Mount St. Helens area. Uh, nothing of any major concern. Let's check out the um, Mount St. Helens seismograph station up here and see what we have. This is over the last two weeks or so. handful of earthquakes out there. Nothing... Nothing big, but uh, it's it's been somewhat active out here in the past year or so with uh, some elevated seismic activity, but uh, really nothing of any abnormal activity. You know, we get these little swarms here on occasion, and as you can see there on the graph, really uh, nothing of any major activity. Got one earthquake outside of the uh, Viola area, outside of Mount Lassen here. A little two-pointer coming in. In the last hour, uh, the rest of California out here, Bay Area, fairly quiet. Southern California, uh, aside from that movement this morning, that 2.8 near the Loma Linda area, things are generally, well, looks like a typical day out here in Southern California. Really nothing of any major interest, no major earthquake swarm, no unusual activity. Uh, we did have a little... A little bit of earthquake activity here across the Death Valley area earlier this morning as well and a couple other smaller microquakes. But uh, again, this can happen on any given day here. I don't see anything of abnormal activity to speak of. Uh, nothing showing up there across Yellowstone, but uh, let's just give a quick glance here. See what we have from the Yellowstone overview page. Here's some wind events from earlier showing up on the darker blue lines. Those are not magma movement. That's not magma movement and uh, not earthquake activity, but weather-related outside interference. Aside from that, I don't see any earthquake activity to discuss on that map. Uh, Texas and uh, the rest of the country pretty quiet out there. One little earthquake from uh, this morning, about 2 o'clock local time here, California time for the New Madrid Seismic Zone 2.2. So some elevated activity ramping up here across the South Sandwich Trench here recently. Uh, almost, well, we got a five-pointer and a 4.9, the latest quake here, uh, a little bit further up north now. Uh, this is one area that's been, well, here's the last 30 days. That's actually fairly minimal for this area. But it is spread out somewhat equally across the subduction zone. So a bunch of fours and some fives. Var uh, variable in terms of the depth for these earthquakes. But uh, nothing major going on. But we'll continue to watch it. 
Uh, Alaska up here. I know we're kind of making a zigzag pattern out here, but Alaska still seeing some movement. Uh, with a couple twos out here across the area. The latest one near Valdez outside of Anchorage. This is the area I'm kind of watching across the subduction zone. They've been having a little bit of earthquake activity stretching up way up into the Brooks Range. And more notable, some earthquake activity north of Anchorage here today with a 4.5, 44 miles deep here underneath this area. So keep an eye on this region. It's a major subduction zone. And uh, it's been an area of, well, a, a gap, so to speak, in terms of seismic activity. If you look here across the rest of the Aleutian Trench, it's fairly active. Not a whole lot of activity specifically here uh, across this area. So you know, things could fill in there. We'll just kind of keep an eye on it. Uh, let's see what else we have. The Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet for now. Middle America Trench, Puerto Rico. That's a lot of earthquake activity out here uh, across this region lately. Uh, 4.7 off the coast of Honduras. And um, let's see, there was a 4.3 and a 4.7 there. If I remember right, there was another earthquake in that same area. When was it? Uh, let's see here. Looks like it's been over a week ago right here across the same plate boundary. So things are starting to adjust out here in the Gulf of Honduras. I'm not for sure how big these earthquakes can get out here, but let's take a look and see when the last big ones were. Let's go 4.5 and uh, we'll just go back here to 1980 and draw a little map out here across the Honduras Trench, the Gulf of Honduras. So that's gonna be right in this area where these earthquakes are striking outside the Cayman Islands. They can get some big quakes down here. I'm just kind of curious to see when the last one uh, was. <clears throat> Ooh, it's taking a long time. Hopefully I'm not going to seize it. Well, that's not that bad. 171 earthquakes here uh, since 1980 of 4.5 and above. Uh, where the earthquake activity is occurring today, very nearby, there was a 7... Uh, really near nearby here 7.5 back in 2018 that was a pretty big earthquake so starting to move there a little bit got to watch areas out here see maybe some regions that haven't seen some major adjustment 6.3 back in 1999 6.0 2004 so obviously we can get some big earthquakes out here but for now just a, a handful of fours out there but we'll continue to watch that Puerto Rico area couple twos and some threes and a four-pointer out here across the Dominican Republic. Uh, Hawaii. Uh, let's see. Nothing major going on. A little earthquake outside of Loihi Seamount. 1.4. And uh, let's take a look here at the Hawaii activity. Um, see what we have here for the latest information from the Kilauea Volcano site. I'll see you what's up here. If there's anything of major interest in terms of deformation data. It's been a little, uh, a little neutral. You guys see that? Here's a, a magma displacement back in the middle of September. We've seen a little eruption there on the middle east rift zone that lasted for a day or two. Uh, but since then, things have been... Uh, Really, they haven't been going up yet. Kind of stationary at best here. I'm not seeing any large-scale uh, inflow or influx here of magma. Just kind of neutral across the board. So maybe quiet like that for a little while until we get some movement here uh, across the Pacific Plate. And, of course, the hot spot out here, uh, which could uh, further fuel the volcanoes out here. But it's just a little quiet out there right now. Really uh, no sign of any inflation, major inflation going on. 4.7 uh, just off the coast here of Sumatra. 30 miles deep here into the subduction zone. Got some activity out across the eastern Afghanistan area as well. And up here around the Black Sea, it's a little odd earthquake out here. 4.8. Don't recall the last time I seen one in this area. In fact, looking at the uh, model out here, the uh, historical model, 
Well, that uh, kind of a rare quake out here. Closer to the plate boundary, obviously we get some earthquakes, but out here in the Black Sea area, that's uh, a little odd. All right. Um, aside from that, let's see what else we got going on. Anything of major interest? You, uh, New Zealand, some threes. They always got threes. They're always throwing out threes. What's up with that? A couple of earthquakes here on opposite side of the plate boundary, across Vanuatu, and down here across the Kermadec Trench. Fairly recent activity. Uh, those two quakes are so. And those are shallow earthquakes as well, followed up by a deeper quake. Of course, that's a very active area, but uh, we'll continue to watch it. Some movement going on up here across the uh, Kuril Kamchatka Trench as well. This is going to be a, a 4.8 from earlier this evening. Looks like there was another earthquake in there as well. 5.3, fairly recent. So a couple hours... Uh, Ahead of that 4.8, things are stirring up out here, it looks like, in this area. Of course, that coincides with uh, a lot of the movement we's, we've seen out here across the Aleutian Trench recently. Looks like it's starting to work its way over this way. We'll watch this zone right here. Lacking earthquake activity. Of course, the Kuril Kamchatka, a major player in producing some big-time earthquakes out there. So, And it's been a little while. All right, uh, space weather activity, folks. Um, well, if you missed last night's activity, tonight is not the night to be out there looking for the auroras. Um, for Thursday night, uh, we've seen some significant solar storming going on. Auroras down here into Northern California for the second time this year. Pretty crazy. Uh, since then, since last night, things are calming down out here. KP index around three or so. Not a whole lot of hope there, again, for the auroras. We do have uh, some flare threats out there, as uh, noted, with a 25% chance for X-flare probability, mainly due to uh, a couple different areas out here in this region of the sun, 3854, 3852 here. Uh, looks like they're starting to join forces out there. A little bit of complexity going on within that sunspot, uh, within those sunspots there, so we'll keep an eye on that. Back over here, the sunspot that produced the X-flare and the uh, subsequent CME and the result of last night's solar storm is much further out here across the western limb. Still fairly complex, though, so we'll keep an eye on that. And got some popcorn red colors here indicating some uh, some complexity growth. So keep an eye on all three of those. Not a whole lot left out here across the eastern limb. Uh, so if anything's going to pop off here in the Earth-directed view, it should probably do it soon. This almost looks like a spooky face out here. It always seems like in Halloween or so, or around Halloween, October, we start getting these weird visualizations here on the globe, or on the sun. And a little spooky face. These are uh, coronal holes, really nothing of any major concern. They spew out uh, some high-speed solar wind stream, but that's about it. No major roars in the forecast for now. We'll see what happens here as things uh, progress in the days ahead. Nothing major going on for the severe weather department. Uh, tropical system here. There's our little, uh, well this isn't a tropical system, but we'll check this down here in a minute. But we have a, a low pressure off the west coast here. Northern California might bring some sprinkles down to my neck of the woods here. I doubt it though. It looks like it dries up pretty quickly. This is going to be limited to the coast range. Um, Eureka, Fort Bragg area. Maybe Redding. I don't know if Chico's going to get any, but Either way, we got some cooler weather coming in, and maybe even another system behind that. Uh, tropical system. Now, there is, it looks like maybe something out here off in the Atlantic as we head towards the 24th of October, but that's a ways out there, so we don't want to, you know, assume anything, but I do want to check these models and see how consistent they stay. Uh, but I don't see anything forming in the Gulf. Maybe out here. It looks like it wants to head over to Mexico area. That's that same tropical system that uh, was supposed to hit Florida in a couple model runs back. But it just goes to show you how inconsistent these models are at such a, uh, a uh, lengthy time frame there. Severe weather setup it looks like for the um, Texas area, Oklahoma, and maybe Kansas as well. As we head towards the uh, middle and towards the end of October. 
So, yeah. As far as any major setups go, in terms of high pressure, low pressure, you name it, let's see what we got here. Oh, man, I don't... Let's see here. Let's go back a little bit. Massive low pressure here in the Gulf of Alaska. That uh, is going to brush up against that high pressure in Canada. There's our cooler temperatures coming down here, dipping down in Northern California. Uh, it's pretty awesome. I'm very thankful for that around the 17th of uh, October. And um, looks like high pressure may want to build back in over the Alaska area. That should potentially provide some troughing out here across the west coast as we head towards the end of October. So I would rather see this parked over Alaska over here across, as long as it's ways up there. Uh, if it's any closer here to the Pacific Northwest and we'll start baking, we'll have hundreds here in November, uh, which is not, it uh, would not be cool. That would be just cruel and unusual punishment to say the least. So we should be getting some cooler patterns coming in here with that ridging going on uh, off in the uh, Gulf of Alaska like that, hopefully. We'll see how things play out. The rest of the country, um, I mean, they're dealing with a cold spell coming up, it looks like, as we head towards next week out across the eastern portion of the country. Some very cold temperatures. But after that, high pressure builds back in and warms things up again. And it looks like it's going to stay that way for a little bit out there. Uh, at least maybe some average or just above average temperatures. Uh, what else we got here, folks? Um, member draw coming up here on the 15th in about four days. So we got about 72 members right now. And uh, we appreciate all of these folks here for hanging out with us. Uh, we've been doing this for, wow, 20, have, has it really been 28 months already? Let's see here. Total time. Yeah, 28 months. Goodness, so... That is crazy. But uh, anyway, it's something that we do every month here. We'll uh, put all these members in a uh, drawing and do a live a live drawing, uh, so to speak, from, these, uh, from the members here. And we'll give away some prizes. So if you want to be uh, included in that member bowl, jump on board and become a member here today. We give away uh, anything from a $50 Visa MasterCard to a geology mining kit or even some EarthMaster merchandise like a t-shirt, uh, whatever you want. So, But uh, yeah, so if you're a member, you'll get uh, thrown into the fishbowl, the magic fishbowl, and uh, we'll pick out a winner here on the 15th here in a few days. All right. I am going to call it, folks. Friday night. I don't know. I really am not a late guy anymore. I don't like to stay up too late right now. Seems like I, I enjoy going to bed earlier. It's actually kind of late right now, but I enjoy the early bedtimes and getting up uh, a little bit earlier when it's nice and cool in the morning. But uh, to each their own, I suppose. All right. Have a good one, folks. Seismograph stations out there, fairly quiet. Not a whole lot going on in terms of large-scale movement. But, of course, that could change, you know, at any given time. Have a good one. Enjoy your Friday night. We'll catch you guys back out here for the Saturday morning update.